Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you to a really fun and quirky place here in Colorado Springs to grab a bite to eat. Today we're visiting the airplane restaurant. Okay, adventurers, today we are doing something absolutely crazy here at the airplane restaurant. We're actually eating inside of an airplane. That's right. The entire restaurant is themed with all sorts of cool, like, airplanes and all sorts of neat flight suits and patches and things like that. It's located extremely close to the Air Force Base, so it kind of makes sense. But this dining experience is one of a kind here in the Colorado Springs area, and the menu it looks amazing. Now I'm here at lunchtime, so we have lots of different options. This would be like our appetizers right here at the top, and then we go into salads, and then burgers, and then on the back, because this is double-sided, we have chicken burgers, sandwiches, and then also our beverages down here. Now I did go ahead and get a Coca-Cola because I was looking for something sweet. It had a little bit of caffeine today. And then I went ahead and ordered this. It's called the Afterburner Burger. And it says, light this candle. Here's our burger topped with tangy guacamole, roasted green chilies, and pepper jack cheese. Now that sounds delicious and I can't wait because I am so hungry. I have been busy all day long here in Colorado Springs with some other episodes that you'll be seeing. However, when I heard about this place, I was like, yes, please sign me up. Tell me where it is. And sure enough, I made my way here. Now again, I did say it's close to the Air Force Base, so it's kind of on the opposite side from a lot of the attractions that you might go to in the mountainous areas. However, there's some really cool attractions in this area as well that you might want to check out, including you can actually tour the base and see the beautiful, amazing chapel that they have. And then there is also a museum in this area. So lots of cool things, but um, this is about the airplane restaurants. So let me show you a little bit more about what this place is working with. Now, another cool thing about this place is your servers aren't actually considered wait staff. They're considered to be flight attendants and flight crew, which is super, super cool. So they have on uniforms, as you can see, and then name tags. And it's really, really neat to kind of check out because the theming is impeccable. And not to mention, if you've never been here before, as you kind of come back to sit in the airplane through the main dining area, they'll tell you a little bit more about the plane that you're actually sitting in. Okay, our meal just arrived. And Look at this guys. It smells so good and it's called again the afterburner because it has all these little peppery goodnesses in here So I'm really excited about this now whenever I asked my flight attendant about this particular burger She said that the guacamole is like a creamy guacamole. So I'm really excited about that It does come standard with lettuce tomatoes and onions and as always I cut the tomatoes and the lettuce because I don't like hot lettuce. I did leave the onions. I'll probably pull some of them off, but that's just my personal preference. It looks delicious. And this is really fun because this is not your typical, just regular fry. Now I'm gonna start off by peeling out some of this onion because these are very big pieces. And even though I like a little onion, that's a lot. So I'm gonna set it over to the side. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is just top it off real quick and then give it a good squish because it's super big. There we go. And that looks like one good burger right there. Okay, I can already see this is going to be a napkin situation. So, you know what that means. <laughs> It's time to dig in and this burger looks so good. Now, again, big, 
super big. This is after I've squished it down. So inside here, we have green chilies, guacamole, and we have pepper jack along with our burger itself, the bun, and then we have some pickles on the bottom. And oh, smells so spicy. So without further ado, let's find the thickest part and uh, Mm. Oh. Oh wow. It packs a little bit of a punch with the flavors. A little bit of that spice. The green chilies are definitely singing in my mouth. And it's actually tangy guacamole, so it's not just a flat guacamole. So it really like builds up that spice. Mmm. the subtleties of the pepper jack and then that tiny tiny bit of the vinegar from the pickle oh my gosh this is a good burger this is a very good recommendation but do you see all this juice this is definitely definitely a napkin situation now as you can see these fries are not your typical just box cut fries. They don't look like a just typical frozen fry that somebody bought and then put in some oil. These look like they are hand cut. They're almost like a chip shape. They're really, really cool. They're a little thick, but not too thick. So they're not quite a wedge. And they have a slight salt on them. Nothing crazy. But potentially what I like best about these fries is they're gonna be perfect for dipping into ketchup because see this little space right here? It's like a scoop and it's gonna be so good. But uh, let's try them out. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but on the outer edge where the skin actually still is, there's a little bit of a crisp there. So when you bite in, it has a nice crunch. But the rest of the potato has a nice, like mushy goodness like a regular french fry would be. So it's a unique combination. Ketchup, ooh, aggressive. And here we go. Mmm. Oh yeah. With that said, I'm going to finish up this food, then we'll have a couple final thoughts whenever the check comes, and I'll show you the rest of this place because it is awesome. Okay guys, it is time for checkout and I just want to tell you this was so delicious. I got a Coke today, it was $2.99, the Afterburner Burger with fries was $14.99 which brings our total after tax to $19.47 and this was so good. In fact it was so good that I'm going to take a portion of it home with me because it was so big. Isn't that always the story of my life though? I end up with a little to go but it's well worth it whenever the food is really yummy. And I'm super excited because not only do I have a little bit of burger left, but I also have a few of these fries. And I wanted to kind of follow up. I don't think it was just salt on the fries. Maybe a tiny bit of onion? I don't know. But it kind of tasted like a little bit of onion or maybe garlic. Not sure. Very, very good though. And as you can see, I ate most of them. Now, the burger was so big that I was able to eat about half. So, for the average person, this would be about $20 for a single meal. For me, this is $20 for two meals. Again, the story of my life. And potentially one of the best things about having some to go is this actually will fit in my fridge in my van because it's the perfect size. So I'm winning and winning and winning again. But let's go check out the rest of the restaurant so I can show you what it looks like because when we passed through a while ago, I only show you a few of the bullet points. But now let's go deep dive.
Well, adventurers, I hope you have enjoyed coming along with me to the airplane restaurant here in Colorado Springs. It has been amazing. The food was delicious. The theming is exceptional. And overall, taking a flight here was probably one of the best flights I've ever had. Till next time, guys. Bye.